There is a new 450 brake horsepower Lexus called the RCF. Here it is. What do you think? I hate to have to say this, James, but I actually quite like it. No, I'm quite glad because I quite like it as well. I oh, think that... God, I'm going to catch golf from you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to is... turn up next week like that. Hang on a minute, though. This is the second second Lexus you've liked. It is. You're a Lexus fan. There you go. <laughs> and then I'm service. going to join the police as a constable and become a chief inspector within a week with my trouser leg rolled up and one of those. Oh, it was a Mason's. I thought that was a sexual thing. <laughs> Sadly, the same couldn't be said of James's car. Mason reopens doors, James. Here, look. Let me show you. Morning. Well, unless you join the police, you have to be in the Masons, oh, and therefore you've got a Mason's oh. car, therefore I'm doing the secret handshake. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> it's a Lexus, James. It is, yes. And you paid... £900. While I did that, Hammond kindly solved the LFA's cup holder problem. You haven't put sugar in it. Um, there are no cup holders. It's impossible to plumb your telephone or whatever into the stereo system. And the fuel tank is the size of a disposable lighter, which means you have to fill up every five minutes and then you have to get out. And then it takes you a week to do your seatbelt up again. I still haven't done it. It's like giving myself a prostate exam. But these little things pale into insignificance when you unleash its astonishing V10 engine. <laughs> That's how much I love this thing. I mean, yes, there are faults. The petrol tank is too small. The seatbelt is idiotic. And joking aside, I would like a cup holder. But the rest of it is so exquisite. I'm going to say it. It's the best car I've ever driven. It really is. I mean, just look at this wood. That is the car equivalent of a giant cabinet for your tenant. And it's not like Lexus only had a miserable changing room budgets of about 500 quid to play with. They had bucket loads of cash to spend. And they still came up with a, a Mexican hacienda. Destination, click. Apparently it's calling someone. Lexus informed. It is. This is Anita. Where would you like to go today? Uh, Willow Springs Raceway. Just yes. a moment, and I can definitely help you with that. Let me just get that plugged in for you. And then can you make that come onto my screen in the car? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to download it to your navigation for you instead of you putting it in yourself. Is there anything else I can help with? Uh, no, that's just, I'm so staggered. That's amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Definitely call us 24-7 as many times as you need, and we will help you out, OK? Thank you all. Thanks again. I'm hit again! They're just shooting at me because my car's Japanese! It's racism! Now, driving a Lexus has always been like sitting in a bucket of warm wallpaper paste reading a Jane Austen novel. But with this one, they claim they've built an M3 killer. <laughs> certainly very high-tech. For instance, it has a sport vehicle integrated management system, whatever that is, and airbags for your knees. What's more, full lock-up control is used in second gear without the tongue converter. Mmm, Jane Austen could only dream about such things. This often happens in rock and roll. What a numpty. To make the tune go backwards, you can still drive the car forwards. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it, it, never mind. Yes. It's telling me Paul McCartney's dead because he wasn't wearing any shoes or socks. There is, however, another setting in the RCF, which makes it even worse. If you put it in Sport Plus and then push this button here, 
Look, I'm now in expert mode. It says it there. I have told the car that I am an expert. I don't need the electronic stuff. I can manage. Oh, God. Lurchy. That's the word I'm looking for there. Lurchy. This is a Lexus LFA. It's not the most powerful car in the world, it's not the fastest, it's not the best looking, and it certainly isn't the cheapest. Plus, the Lexus badge does come with a whiff of masonry. But I drove one of these in England last year, and I emerged from the experience thinking that might very well be the best car I've ever driven. But the best thing is the noise. Baleful. It sounds like a wild animal that's sad about something. Oh no! I got my paw stuck! Ow! 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 And it's a Lexus which marks its owner out as a golf enthusiast and possibly a boar. And things are worse when you try to live with it for a while. The most annoying thing, apart from the buttons on the steering wheel, all of which seem to retune the radio to a station you don't like very much, apart from that, every time you reach for a can of zesty drink in the cup holder, I've done it again. You can't help but nudge the mouse, which sets the destination on the sat-nav to where you are. In 300 yards, right turn. I don't need to be told how to get here. I'm already here. Next right. 